I'm Nick Stanzik. I'm going to show you how to flay the swordfish here. We're going to get his nose off first there. If it builds an actual bone, we're going to save that. So that's an actual bone. We will save that as a little uh, memento. There is a swordfish sword right there, you guys. That is a swordfish sword. And we're gonna keep this fish hanging up while we clean him. Usually we lay him on that table, but I think Jeffrey hit the table from us. He's mad at Chase, so. All right, we're gonna start at the top. Just like that. Follow all the way down his belly here. We're gonna right down his backbone. Right down his spine, guys. So this is like where the gaps and harpoons were. There's already a tear there, so I'm just going to cut that there anyhow. That would be a good spot to make a different stake at. Let's see, we'll do one uh, right down here down the middle. It's hard to guess with a bloodline run, so I'm gonna cut it in half again, then you can see it easier. I know I can follow that bloodline, go right down there, straight down, just like that. Oh, look at that slab of meat falling off, guys. Look at that, swordfish right there. Oh yeah. That's prime, baby. Right here in Amarada. You guys want to let the tank hit it? Hip hip filet. And we can see his spinal cord right there. Zach's helping me out. He's holding the uh, fish so he's not twisting. So we're just going right along that spinal cord, just like that. Look at that. Whoops. We got belly, belly meat right there. That looks beautiful. Hang on, let's check it out and see what he was eating, you guys. Here's his stomach right here. The moment it's everybody loves to see what they're eating. We're gonna cut that open like that. Check it out over here, guys. Let's see what we got. Ooh. We got some small fish. Look at this thing. Oh, wow. Look at the size of that mouth of that fish. There ain't much of them left, but that's his mouth right there. That was a crazy looking fish. That's something weird. Look how small these little fish are. I mean, that big swordfish. You know, he eats little things that are this big, they're the size of minnows. So when they're hungry, they eat, you know, they gotta eat what they gotta eat. All right, let's keep cleaning. This is part of a squid right here. So there's a couple of fish in them, a piece of a squid, some small little fish. The tarpon are fired up. Look at all the tarpon here. The tarpon sure do like it, except that one. Oh, they're getting fired up now. There we go. All right, back to cleaning. Here we go, right down the center there. Right down that bloodline, runs right down his spine. Work our way down his backbone. Look at that, the meat just falls off. That's prime right there, center of the fish. As good as it gets. There you go. He's telling, they're telling fish stories, we gotta put them to work. There we go, right down there. Belly slime will come right up. Just use your knife there, pull that belly slime, pull it right up like that. Oh, there you go, thank you. One more section here, and then it's gonna be the same thing on the other side, so you guys kinda get it. But straight down there. This fish is big enough where I'll split it like this, you know, we're actually quartering it. That's a quarter of it, so. Right down here by his tail. Work our way towards the spine. That chunk of meat will fall right up. Look at that right there, perfect. There you go. So last piece on this side, then we'll do the other side, but. Look at that. Ooh, that's beautiful. Fresh swordfish, come and get it. You ready to cast, Frank, or your line on. We got birds working, it might be on my heat. Go ahead and throw it out there, Frank. Oh, no we didn't. Oh yeah, there we go. All right, need a squid, need a squid. That back right hatch. Right hatch, 
Back, back right hatch. Back, back right hatch. Right, back right. Bad hook job. Right here. Next. Oh, bad cat. Throw it out there, Frank. I'm trying, man. I'm trying. All right. Frank to the bait out. Not that time, though. Double that. Right. Double that. You got a bite, Frank? Yeah. Here we go. Everybody's on. There we go. There you go, right here. There's squid in that back right hatch right there. Get him, dog. We got some schoolies on, guys. School size mahi mahi. Drops on. There you go. All right, dripping back there, Frank. Alright, you want to come in? Drop it in. Oh, there you go. Wow! Damn. Yeah, get him! Thanks, fuck! Come on, get Frank. Frank. Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, drop him! Come in. We are slinging mahi. Some schoolies. You know, school sized fish, three, four, five pounds. Really good dolphin bellies for swordfish bait. And good eating fish too. We're on the board. We're putting them in that hatch down there so they don't get blood everywhere. We don't want to destroy the whole boat. Take wind a little bit, get some of that a little bit tighter. There you go, good job. And once those fish die, we'll throw them in the cooler. We're on the board. So we've been fishing a couple hours. We got a bite on the buoy. We're hoping he stays. Might be that little swordfish. Now you're deep, 1,732 feet. Check this other bait. Squids ate it apart. You can see where they're chewing it here. The little teeth. They chewed it all apart. But I think we got a swordfish on here still. Yeah, Frank the tank. Keep going, baby. Oh. It just came off. No, he oh, did not. Yeah. No, he did not. Dude, that was He's gone. Sled retrieval I've ever done. We got some more mahi here. They're right behind the bus, buddy. 50 feet. One shot right over the rail. Come on. There, there you go, go. perfect. Perfect. Get him in the boat. There you go. Coming at you, Frager. We got more mahi. Oh, mahi mahi. Look at that flying fish there. These mahis were not live on you guys and they coughed up little baby flying fish right there. So that's what they're eating there. Little flying fish. There's another one over here. Why was there? I saw another one in the well too. Let's check it out. Here he is. Look at this thing. That's an already been chewed flying fish. Got little wings like that. That's pretty cool. Open that thing up there for a second. One. Show me them wings. See them wings. That's pretty cool. All righty. So that's what they're eating, little flying fish. Mahi mahi eating flyers. So we're getting ready to wind them up. We were gonna go try and catch some bottom fish because we've been sword fishing for like, what is it, it's 2.46 right now. We started at like 8.15 this morning. So like over six hours, six and a half hours. We lost one about 100 feet away. And no more bites the last three hours. We just hooked up on the way up. So hopefully it stays. It's going to go a little bit faster because it's not really tight, it's bouncing. A little bit faster, keep going, keep going, keep going. And watch your rod tip because we want to see that rod been over and loaded. That moon's coming up out there. That might've triggered the bite. We got another boat here real close. My buddy Chris right there. Hopefully our fish don't swim into his line because that'd be bad. See that fish, he came up about 50, 60 feet away, but he's going back down now. Looks like a decent one. Hopefully we get him for dinner. There he is. Get ready, Mark. There he is. Dude. 
Right at the end. Wow. Right on, Don't give nice up. Fish. Right on. Right through them. That harpooner right through them, guys. Drilled them. First our group? Huh? First ever group? Yeah. First our no, I'll tell you what. The yeah, stand that scaffs. <laughs> the stand scaffs. Put the steel to him, baby. That's Wham. Right. Look at that eyeball. We're well, eating swordfish now. Yeah, oh, boys. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> That's the shot right there. Right, so we're icing this fish down now. We're gonna bring him in, get some good pictures. You know, we'll fly him up either today or tomorrow, either way. But uh, fun fish, exciting. Yeah, just lay him right in there. Perfect. That should be good. Yeah. Pull this thing over like that. Here, I got it. You're good. We're good, guys. So if you catch a fish, you're gonna eat it. You know, try to take care of it the best you can. Back to Bud and Mary's. Here we go. I'm gonna, I'm gonna jump out real quick. You gotta roll up. Alrighty guys, drop a comment below. Let us know how much you think this fish weighs. 74 inch short length right there. 74 inches from the fork of the tail to there. What you got, Jeff? 168. 168, maybe. 158. That's probably more like it. There you go. Walk them on up that way, guys. We're gonna go up. One, two, three. Up. Oh. There you go. Perfect. Don't let the old man have to get this thing. Yeah. Oh, the old man. We're gonna go to the dock. Yeah. Come on, Frank. Here you did. You ready? Yeah, you grab one. Oh, there you go. One, two, three. Perfect. There, there you go. go. There you go. What do you think, Bean? Should I drop them in? Alright, so comment below. How many how many pounds do you think this fish is, guys? Alright, hook that thing on there and you're good to go. All right, pull them on up there. <laughs> What'd you say? 147. Okay, Bean says 147, I guess 150, so we'll see. The moment of truth. A little bit more. There you go, that's good. What's it say, Yeti? 163? 163. 163. 163. 163. Who said 163? No, I did. Yeah. <laughs> you said 163. There you go. 163 pounds, you guys. I said 162 and a half. No way. I did. Jeffrey said 162 and a half. <laughs> no, you guys, I heard him. You, got, you did? I got a back end. He yeah, did I say it. Him. Now, you heard him last time. He guessed within like a pound, a pound, pound last time, too. Yeah. Jeffrey guessed. He's good guessing there. Yeah. All right, time to cut this fish up now, you guys. Here we go. Fresh swordfish, come and get it. All right, hope y'all enjoyed that video. We had a great charter today. Smash that like button, make sure to subscribe. Smash it. Bean says smash it. Smash that like button. If you guys have missed seeing Bean, tell him to get back in the videos. He's been dilly dallying. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. So thanks for watching. Thanks for being part of our lives. Hey, tell him about the red oak. <laughs> That's the red oak knife there. My buddy Frank gave it to me. Custom red oak candle.